Welcome back. The city police have arrested five people in connection with the murder of real estate broker last week. Police investigation revealed that an illicit affair could be the cause of crime. Last Thursday, 50-year-old Kumar was found lying in a pool of blood near Mullai Nagar burial ground after a gang unveiled an attack on him. All the five accused persons were produced before a court and lodged at the Pural prison. Meanwhile, the former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yedurappa is back in jail. The hospital where he was admitted yesterday discharged him this morning. Last night after meeting him, a state BJP leader said Yedurappa wants to return to jail as he is very frustrated by media reports and that he is faking his illness in order to avoid jail. Yedurappa, who now seems to have fallen out of favour with the central leaderships, his bail plea comes up for hearing tomorrow in the Karnataka High Court. Meanwhile, the Congress hit out at him, saying he feigned his illness to stay out of jail. Today, a distinction without a difference is made. A difference without a distinction is made. That we believe in the rule of law, the law should go on, but we support him. And the support him means that the entire cabinet stands in one line to receive him in the jail. He is able to scold the prison's minister in case the facilities are not up to the mark. He embarks for a jail yatra by going from one hospital to another. And it is believed that the police in that state will conduct their investigation, prosecution, proceedings and so will the jail authorities without fear or favour as they would for a common man. Certainly only people with great good fortune can have such five-star jail yatras or five-star rath yatras. Meanwhile, in West Bengal, Maoists have rejected West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee's seven-day deadline to lay down arms and comfort talks by announcing a bandh on Saturday in three districts, the day on which the deadline ends. In a pamphlet distributed by Maoists in their stronghold of Jungle Mehal, they have hit out, as Mamata says, she has insulted them by calling them supari killers. The letter terms Mamata's aggressive stance as that of similar to Ma Kali. Pakistan's Army Chief General Ashfaq Parvez Gayani has warned U.S. against any unilateral strike inside Pakistan, briefing the members of the Pakistan Parliament Standing Committees on Defense. General Kayani said U.S. will think 10 times before taking unilateral action in Waziristan. Pakistan is nuclear power, must not be compared with Iraq and Afghanistan. Pakistani Army Chief Gayani also dared the Obama administration at the same briefing saying does not need U.S. financial aid anymore. Gayani said the problem lies in the Afghanistan and not Waziristan. It is for Pakistan to decide if at all it will attack Waziristan. And he also blames the inter-service intelligence. All, inter all spy agencies, including the American CIA, has links with militant groups. Questioning the auditor's jurisdiction to review policy matters, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh had recently advised the Comptroller and Auditor General to limit its office to the role defined and had reminded it that it never in the past had the CAG decided to comment on a policy issue. Today, responding to questions, Pranab Mukherjee seemed to back the government auditor, saying he has not exceeded jurisdiction. I do not think, I am making it quite clear, I do not think that CAG is exceeding its jurisdictions or things like that because basic responsibility of Comptroller and Auditor General is to identify if there be any lapse. Out of 100, if in 98 cases government has done the correct thing, they will ignore it. They will just pick up only those two things where some irregularities have taken place. It is also mentioned that NCP chief and UPA ally Sharad Pawar has spoken out against the government.
Pawar said there was a loss of public opinion due to this 2G scam and the public questioned why the Prime Minister was not intervening. UPA too started with controversies surrounding decisions taken earlier. Pawar was speaking at the idea exchange organized by Lok Sattha. After Pawar's criticism of the government, BJP said now even senior ministers are acknowledging that the faith of the people has been eroded. Stay tuned for more news NCP on the other side NCP Sharad Pawar ne kal kuch mahatvapun tipniya ki hai ek aise platform par jo rajnitik nahi tha. And Mr. Sharad Pawar has acknowledged that the government besieged with series of scandals. It has suffered loss of public opinion, which has completely eroded the authority of the UPA. Stay tuned. We have more news on the other side of the break.